Welcome! Today I want to talk about what it's like to work as a freelancer and how it all began while we build this PC. I basically began my journey in mid-2022 when Covid was mostly gone. I wanted to get a job, I had been trying it for about 3 or 4 years at this point, but I just didn't get accepted anywhere and even if I did, the pay was gonna be extremely low and I had to work for about 10 or so hours 6 days a week. So I looked at how much money I had left, it was around $200, maybe a bit more. I was extremely depressed and desperate to achieve something in life. I was running out of money and the life wasn't getting any easier. Then I remembered the videos that I saw on YouTube and they got me quite inspired to do something on my own. So basically it was all or nothing, cause I just had enough. I always wanted to work with computers, I just love technology in general. I love gaming and everything associated with it. So I went all in on that, invested all of my money to build a computer and sell it for profit. I made about $15 profit on my first $200 gaming PC, which isn't much. Nobody believed or took anything what I wanted to do seriously, everybody wanted me to quit and to stop attempting to make sense out of my obsession. So everything was aligning for me to fail. But when you love doing something so much that you can sacrifice everything that you have, had or will have, that love will eventually help you when things are the hardest and if you put at least 100% of your capability towards achieving your goal, you will eventually achieve success one way or another, which is where we are at the moment. Right now I'm able to earn bare minimum and do what I love the most, which is working with computers and making videos about it. Speaking of which, that's what we're doing today, so let's talk a bit about it. I chose this case because a lot of people have been requesting me to build in it and the last time I built in this case it sold decently, so I think it's a good idea to keep building whatever works and whatever satisfies the customers. Besides, this case has a double magnetic filter on the front side, there's one up top as well and below the power supply. The side panel opens like a door, which a lot of people really like here, so this case pretty much has everything that one can wish. In terms of case fans, we are using budget 120mm blue LED ones. A local shop has been importing a lot of these and considering that they cost only $3, they're not a bad deal, they don't make any noise and they provide a really good airflow. I decided to go with blue fans this time because the previous PC had red ones. The motherboard here is an H510MK from Asus. I wanted to go with a slightly better one, but this is somewhat of a budget build and considering that we'll be putting an i3-10105F in this motherboard, I think it's plenty enough. Besides, the RAM kit we are using is clocked at 2666MHz, so simply using a better board wouldn't do much if we don't use better RAM or a better CPU. Everything just works out here. For the storage, we are using a 1TB SATA SSD from X-Ray Disk. I've been using these for many years and they've been nothing but perfect. I know that we have an M.2 slot here, but from my past experience I've seen a few people report that their M.2 SSDs have been causing problems because they're exposed to dust and when enough dust builds up and settles on these M.2 SSDs, it can cause issues and that's what I'm afraid of. Besides, if we install an M.2 SSD here, it will make the GPU's x16 lane run at x8 speed, which is less than ideal, you want your GPU to be running at x16 as it should. To power our system, we are using a 500W power supply from Deepcool. It's a PF500 model which I've been extremely satisfied with. It's honestly the best budget power supply you can get here. Our CPU cooler is also from Deepcool, it's an AG200. This cooler can keep any CPU that draws no more than 125 watts below 80 degrees under a full stress. Another deep cool product that I've been satisfied with. At this point I would really love to get sponsored by Deepcool because I just love their products. They're my number one go-to choice whenever I'm browsing for computer parts. And of course our GPU, RTX 2060. I made a video about it last week explaining how satisfied I was with it. So we're gonna be pairing this RTX 2060 with the rest of the components. If you're curious about the performance of this PC, take a look at the pinned comment. 
I tested a similar PC on my second channel in 36 games and if you wanna know whether or not it can do ray tracing, take a look at my previous video, it'll be in the pinned comment as well. Some of you guys have been asking me whether or not you should also do PC flipping as a hobby or even commit to it as a full time job. Now I'm all for doing what you love no matter the pay or struggle, but the life is really rough nowadays and if you're not earning enough, you'll simply go broke. Also, bear in mind that people that do this PC flipping and whatnot, they have sponsors, sometimes they have some other jobs and most importantly, they have experience. Now, out of those three things, I only have experience. This is my only job and I don't have any sponsors. Doing this for a living is extremely difficult. You have to work really hard on every single thing so that you can earn bare minimum to be able to just live through a day. Going into this, I knew what I was committing to, so should you as well. But all of those things considered, I'm happy that I made this choice. It did take me a very long time to get here, I mean there's so much more to get and honestly, the journey is just about to begin for me. There will be a lot of success, a lot more struggles as well, but one thing you should keep in mind is that as long as you're willing to fully commit to your dreams, stop letting them be memes and make them your goals, you will achieve success. It will be slow and it most definitely will not be fun at the beginning, but you'll get there eventually, or at least that's what I believe. On that note, I wanna wish you guys happiness and the will to keep on moving forward towards your goals. Take care of yourselves and of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.